have you listened have you watched the news lately have you checked online or you see what is going on all over the world people are now living in fear because of this virus coronavirus or covid 19 as it's as it is called and so many people have been infected and thousands and thousands of people have lost their lives even right here in the united states as of this moment that we are recording this video over 200,000 people have been infected and over 4,300 people have died so far. And now they are projecting that they are expecting between 100,000 to 240,000 people to die because of this virus. And the worst part of this situation is not just the virus, it's because the doctors and the scientists, they actually don't know what to do because this has never happened before and we don't have the vaccines and we don't have the solution there's no medication we are just trying everything to their best ability and knowledge to make sure to rescue and to save as many lives as possible but what if what if i tell you there's a solution what if I tell you you can escape this? What if I tell you that you can be protected from having this virus? What if I tell you, listen, listen for a minute. The doctors, they actually don't know if you have this virus. They will just keep trying this and keep trying that. What if there's something that is really sure that can heal you? Something that is really sure that can protect you. If you don't have it to protect you from having it. Or if you already have it so that you can have the assurance that you can be healed. And what is that? What is the solution? I know you are, you, are, you are at the edge of your seat. You want to know what I'm about to say. It's very simple. And the good thing about this is it costs you nothing. Nothing to receive it. And what is that? Why don't you try the Lord? Why don't you try Jesus? I know you may think, oh, all these religious fanatics. Yes, it may sound religious fanatics, but I want to tell you, what do you have to lose? The doctors you want to run to, they don't have the solution. The scientists that we are looking up to, they don't know what to do right now. They're just doing trial and error. But have you tried the Lord? Have you called upon the name of the Lord to protect you? Though you may have never accepted Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, why don't you give that a trial? Because all the medicines and all the vaccines they're trying to do, they're just trying it. Why don't you try what I'm telling you? If you can just accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior today, He will protect you. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and He is safe. If you want to be saved, if you want to be healed, it's very simple. If you can just accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, and if you can just give your life to Him, you have the assurance that He will protect you. Because of this, He shed His blood on the cross of Calvary. And the blood of Jesus keep us safe. You might have not read Bible before, but you heard the story of the plague of Egypt. Have you ever thought about it for a minute? Why is it that this plague affected the entire nation, but it didn't get to one part of the nation, that the part that is called Goshen? The plague didn't get to Goshen. Why? Because the children of God lived in Goshen. And the Lord commanded them, if they can put the blood of the lamb at the front of their house, they will be protected. The angel of death that is killing all the firstborn will not touch them. And that's exactly what happened. Why don't you try the blood of Jesus today? And see if it will not protect you and your household. Again, what do you have to lose? Give God a try. Accept Jesus today as your Lord and your Savior. Yes, you, you may be of other religion. You may be a Muslim. You may be an Hindu. You may be a Buddhist. It doesn't matter what your religion is all about. This is not about religion. This is about saving life. Saving life here now and eternity. And that's what our God does. That's what he does. He saves lives.
He saves lives. He saves life here and he saves us for eternity. And what you need to do is very simple. If you can just accept him as your Lord and your Savior, I will lead you to do that. I will, I will encourage you to do that and I will lead you to do that. If you are willing to do that, if you can just stretch forth your hand in agreement with me as I pray with you, it's very simple. The prayer is very simple. Just say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart today. I give you my life. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my life and be my Lord. So with my mouth, I confess that you are the Son of God. With my heart, I believe that you died on the cross for me. Today, I want you to be my Lord and my Savior from this day on. Keep me safe and my family. Cover me and my household with your blood. Save, save us from this pandemic. So that there will be no evil in my household. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have said that simple prayer... I welcome you into God's family. You are well protected and secured. Again, let me tell you what the word of God says. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and he is safe. Even if you already have virus in your body or any form of sickness or infirmity, it doesn't have to be coronavirus. Any form of sickness in your body. Guess what the Bible says? The Bible says he sent his word and healed them and deliver them from destruction. The word of God says, by his stripes we are healed. So I stand on the word of God today, I come in agreement with you. And I pray for you today that you are healed from every form of sickness. You are healed from every form of disease or infirmity. You are healed and you are made whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Your earth is restored in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. God bless you. I will encourage you to come back to this channel and watch some of our other videos. Subscribe to it. Guess what? There are so many videos here that will help you in this journey that you just started. The Lord is with you and I promise you we will continue to pray for you. We may not know you in person, but we are praying for you. The Lord is with you. If you have just given your life to Christ, if you can just leave a message under this video, then we will continue to pray for you. The Lord is with you. He will keep you safe. In Jesus' name, God bless you and remain lifted in the Lord. Amen.